Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique and welcome to another Two Minute Tuesday. Today we're using Spectre to add harmonic saturation and distortion to our subby bass line to make it cut through those cell phones and those laptop and those cheap earbud speakers because that's where everybody's consuming content these days. So today's a little bit different. I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and run this tutorial through your laptop speakers or through your crappy earbuds or on your cell phone instead of saying run them on your studio monitors or your mixing headphones because the purpose of this is to get your bass line to come through on those speakers. And the way we're gonna do it is using Spectre. As I said, this is the brand new plugin from Waves Factory. It's right here on the screen. And what this does is adds harmonic saturation to whatever signal you're feeding into it depending on the EQ curves you boost and it works like an absolute charm. And what it does is listens to the difference between the dry signal and the boosted signal via the EQ filters here and adds different types of saturation to the signal. So let's just talk about it real quick. You've got quality control down here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on best. You've got all of these different types of saturation. We can leave it on tube for now. Lots of presets, bass, drums, experimental, so on and so forth. You've got mode, subtle, medium, and aggressive. Let's put it on aggressive just to start. We can always turn it back a little bit later. Processing, we can go stereo, we can process just the left, just the right, just the mid or just the side. Very useful in the mastering situation. But since we're right here on this baseline, I can either go mid or leave it on stereo, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna leave it on stereo. And let's just look at the spectrum analyzer here. So first thing I'm gonna do, turn these off. Let's just see the spectrum of this baseline and we'll consider this the beginning of the tutorial. Let's go. So depending on your laptop or your cell phone, you might not be able to hear that bass. You can see why it's really, really shallow. We're looking at it about an A0, 55 hertz. Not many speakers in, in the mobile world can put that out. So what we wanna do is go ahead and boost around that frequency. I can go ahead and turn on this filter, double click here, type in 55, we're right where we need to be. Let's go ahead, tube, aggressive, let's check it out. Uh, you should probably already be able to hear it, but you can also see it in the spectrum. These are amplified frequency harmonics of whatever notes being boosted, and we are boosting around 55, but it is catching those other notes. It goes from an A to a G. It is catching both of those notes. So we wanna be absolutely sure we could turn this off and just use this low shelf and bring it up to wherever the highest note of our baseline is and make sure we're getting all of the notes below there boosted so we're not gonna be leave leaving anything out. <laughs> All right, let's check out some of the other colors. Yeah. To be honest, I really like the way the tape saturation sounds, but it's not really gonna cut through the speakers like some of these other ones. Let's just keep going. That's really boosting a lot. And again, I am going quite hard on this. I am boosting a lot. I'm boosting at almost five dB. This is just for demonstration purposes so you can see what this plugin is doing and how it's helping. Obviously, I'd roll back in a real situation. Diode. So the cool thing about this plugin is how it's musically adding distortion. It's making it sound fuller. It's making it sound richer and it's not making it sound crappy. It's actually making it sound a lot better. So once again, Waze Factory doing a great job. Let's check out digital. And let's check out bit. So that one definitely is a no-go on this. So really it's a toss up for me between tube, tape, and diode, depending on how much I need this to cut through those speakers, or if I'm just going for a mix that I'm really liking, I'd probably leave it on tape. You hear the difference, it just sounds so good. So this thing is really great for doing something like this, getting your bass or your kicks to cut through those little laptop speakers. But I also have used this to change a piano sound into something like a distorted electric guitar. This thing is super powerful. I definitely suggest checking it out. Links in the video description. I'm Joshua Casper here for Too Many Tuesdays. I hope you learned something else. See you next Tuesday.